Hello, welcome back to my channel NS Automation. In today's session, we'll see the dynamic locator in Selenium drive, web driver. So first of all, we'll see how we create the dynamic locators, what are the importance of dynamic locators, how we handle the web tables in Selenium web driver with the help of the dynamic locators, or how we perform any action on any web element with the help of the single dynamic locator why i'm saying single dynamic locator that means uh, that is the importance of dynamic locators when you are creating a dynamic locator basically you are using one locator and you are performing several action with the help of that same locator right so suppose you need you have 10 web elements different web elements and you need to click on 10 different web elements so if you not creating the dynamic locator you need to create the 10 locators for the 10 web elements and then you need to perform on all the action with the help of those locators right separately so this is the way dynamic locator with the help of you that you can create only one single method and with the help of that single method you can create any or perform any action on that web element right so let's see first how we create the dynamic locators now <coughs> So now this is the application uh, where we have some uh, tabs over there and we have a so now this is the uh, web application where we have some uh, navigation tabs over there top navigation tabs and one web table present here so if I need to uh, create a single locator for this uh, look tabs so that with the help of the single web locators I can click on any of that uh, tab that is present or I can get the text that is present on the tab or uh, with a single web element I can get any text of this web table right so first of all let's see the uh, creation of dynamic locator with the help of this so first what you need to do you need to inspect the element right so i did just right click inspect the element then you will get the entire html code of this page like uh, you have this table so we'll get the code of this table as well so let's see the coding of the table or understand the coding of the table basically when you have the web table on the web application you ha have the code and html coding like table the name of the table if their name in table exists so you have the name of table but here we don't have the name of the table here so you have just a table uh, header or you can set the tag and inside that you have the table body that is a t body and then you have the tr tr basically refers to the number of rows that we have like um, how many number of rows we have we have the separate td for that right this is the td tag and inside that you have the number of column so column will be represented at td td means the column right so basically if you can see here we have the two rows and two columns so basically one row contains two column so here you can see the tr is the row where we have the td two columns for entire row right so now if i want to get the text of this cell of or this cell or this cell so how can i get this value of the cell with the help of a single locator right so first of all i will inspect any of the cell like i inspect the first cell now with the help of that uh, i need to click create the dynamic locator right so uh, how we'll create the dynamic locator first of all you need to get the similar action similar thing that will represent all the uh, cells like uh, if you can see here we have uh, t table t body tr the basically uh, and then we have the t td so uh, i will i don't have any uh, uh, specific attribute inside this attribute basically uh, uh, like uh, we have a id or uh, we have a class name so we don't have anything like here so how we'll create this with the help of the indexes so how we'll create the index like uh, we'll see if we'll take first of all like we have the td inside the tr and tr inside the t body and t body inside the table so let's start we'll create the xpath for this uh, we'll write first the table right and this is the tag then single slash for the immediate child like we have t body as the immediate child 
then single slash for tr because t tr is the uh, number of row so uh, the row is should be uh, dynamic like which row i want to click it it will be decided by me or my user so i will make this td and let's suppose uh, for i'm right now i'm creating for the first cell so i will uh, mark it as td1 and then uh, i will you can see this i'm getting the first row so i here i want to get any of the column so i will use uh, like tr inside that td so inside this td i will pass one like uh, so for getting the first row if i need the second column for the first row i will got, get the second i will pass the second value in the td so i get the second so now if you want to get the value of third cell so what you will do here you will get use the th second row second row and the first column right or if you want the second column so you can use the second row second column so here you can able to see guys let i'm cre i have created only one uh, locator and with the passing the index value i'm able to get all the values that uh, all the, you can say all the text that have been present in this table so i will use the same thing here as well let's see the code of this so basically first i have created a class and then i have created a method uh, web handle web table where i am calling the web driver and uh, i'm maximizing the uh, uh, that uh, you are uh, the application and then i am calling a method get cell value basically which so basically i have created a cell value basically here i have created the same methods inside this class only because i want to demonstrate to you so basically i have created a method get cell value where i am passing the wave driver and the uh, two parameter apart from this that is first is the row and the second is the column uh, which row and which column i need to uh, click or when i need to get the uh, cell value so uh, here i am passing the row and the column as an uh, parameter right uh, now i am taking this uh, as in variable is i will driver dot find element by dot x path and i am using the table t body tr and this is the way how you can pass basically so i have the row so let's suppose i i was having one and this is the one is the dynamic right if i can pass one as well two as well uh, right so for this i need to pass this uh, value of row from the user how can i pass basically i will make uh, i will divide this string into two parts like uh, with the help of this i have divided now i will use the plus sign so that i can accommodate any uh, integer or any string inside this so i have a uh, parameter row so i will write parameter row here right so basically this is how i am dividing uh, my locator into the two parts and here i am passing the row as in parameter which will be provided by the user or which will be provided at the time of calling right so basically this is how i have created now i am using the get text method to get the value from that text and uh, i am printing that text right so now i am using this method i am calling this method inside this uh, method which i have created in the, this class and here i am passing the driver and the column value like i have passing one and two so i will get the first row second column value or uh, if i want a second row first value i can pass like this and uh, let me run this code and you can see that it will print the second row first column value So here the browser again is launched and uh, the application is also launched maximizes and this is it is printed the text of the third cell so cell, cell text i have written over here cell text and the value of that text so basically i have passed the 
2 comma 1 so it is printed third cell so if i can pass 2 comma 2 so it will print the fourth value right so it will print the fourth cell here so now i have run it again with passing the different value and you will see here that it is printed the fourth cell value with so I'm using the same locator for all the elements that we have in the web table right so now this is printed you can see here so this is how how the uh, dynamic locator works and using the dynamic locator you need not to worry about how many cell and column that we have in this you you can use the same locator for how many number of rows like you suppose you have 50 rows and 50 columns so you can use this way and create your same locator dynamic locator and with the help of that dynamic locator you can get any cell value right so this is how we can handle the web table with the help of the dynamic locator now i can demonstrate to you how can you create the dynamic locator for the tab that is available right uh, here i am using the index let's suppose here let me inspect this so first of all now here if you can uh, need to create the locator or you can say the dynamic locator for these tab navigation tab that we have at the top so how we create that first of all we need to check the similar elements that we have so when i use the inspect element so you can see that it is showing me the code of this right so if you can see here uh, we have the class uh, ul class and where we have the name of the tab right if you can um, mouse over the on this uh, code you will get the all the complete tab so if you can see here i'm mouse overing that into my html code i'm getting the highlighted area of tab right so here you can see that each elements that is present inside this right a light type so basically this is something common right and we inspect we have the uh, one is the url link and then we have the ul tag drop down menu so we, let's suppose we need to get this tab name how will or we need to click on the tab link so how will use this right suppose we need to get or click so you can work yeah we can use this dynamic locator with the help of that right so for how we'll create first so in same way that we have created the web table like same way here how we'll create you let's suppose i'm taking the name of this class because this is the class that is the pay a common class for all days right so i'm taking this common class so i will create the locator uh, ul and where i'm passing the class so you need to use at the rate class because we i'm using the attribute so I, for using the attribute you need to pass at the rate class or at the id and inside in single quote or double quote you can pass the name of that a class name right so this is uh, i am getting the tab right complete uh, tab that header now inside this i need to go into the li tag right so we have the li tag it uses a single uh, uh, slash to get the immediate uh, child and then if you it, if it is not this immediate child you can use the double slash right here i am using the single slash for the because li is just between the ui ul sorry and inside this we have a, a tag and now i will use the contains method of uh, uh, xpath and here how we'll use the contains method like suppose we have the a tag inside a tag so i will use the big brackets and now you will use contains after that i will use i'm use i want to call the text so i have used the text method comma single in uh, inverted comma and the value of right uh, sorry so you will i will write the name of the locator uh, the name of the web element it is selenium right so i write the name of selenium. let me copy this name sometime it's not worked exactly let me copy this name okay so basically now you can see that it is highlighting that area right so basically what it is it is highlighting this area that we are getting the name of this so with the help of this you can call this now suppose you want to call this agile project or the bank project so you need to only pass the name of that link. so let's suppose i want to click on this or get the name of this so i use the bank project instead of selenium 
and with the help of this you can see that a uh, bank project is also called, so it's called so same locator i'm using for everything like if you want to use the payment gateway project you can use the same thing if you want to use telecom project or anything like so you can use just pass the name of this uh, as in and you will get the value like now i can use this locator and uh, how can i i will again i will create a method uh, public void get uh, tab name let's suppose uh, and here i will pass the uh, web driver uh, reference of the driver and then a string string basically the name of the uh, tab so string i will name tab sorry tab name right now will here i will use uh, string tab tab name equals to driver dot find element by dot x path and inside this i will pass this locator now here i want to create this thing as a dynamic so i what i will do i will uh, make this as an uh, mm, dynamic so how can make the dynamic uh, I will you I will divide this uh, string into two parts with the help of this uh, double inverted comma uh, let me make it semicolon right now I will use uh, double quotes I'm uh, sorry uh, plus sign and then I will pass the tab name tab name which is I am using it uh, name okay uh, so tab name element and here I am passing the tab name ok let me use the get text right so basically here I have used this is an I am just using this as dynamic right uh, now let me print this as well so that you can see that it is printing the uh, the thing that I have passed right so the tab name sorry is so it will print the tab name right uh, now i will use same thing here uh, instead of this method i will call get tab name where i am passing the driver and the name let's suppose I have, I have created for the bank project let me pass let's suppose agile project if you can see here agile project will also work like this here right. I will pass this as a parameter here right and now I will call this I will run this method you can see that the name of this tab will be created So if you can see here the name of the tab is uh, printed over here so in, the, in this way you can use this uh, if you want to uh, click on this operation or click on the link you can definitely use the get text instead of get text you will give dot click method of the selenium to click on this element so this is the benefit of using the uh, dynamic locators so with the help of the dynamic locator you need to create the locators again and again and different method for that uh, you have this just single method with the help of the single locator you are able to click create you will click all the elements that is present on the or the similar element that is present on the web page right so this is uh, all about is today's session i will uh, make the complete video of uh, creating the locators xpath and the different strategies so stay tuned with my channel please subscribe my channel and like my video if you think that my video is knowledgeable thank you guys thanks for watching my video